Welcome to the student guide on how to use the Ever Learner. We are wanting you to get the most out of your learning, so hopefully this will help you out. First of all, log in, use your school username, use your password that you have been emailed and make sure you spell it all correctly. That is so, so important. If you forget your password, click on that button, type in your email, you will get an email so you can reset that password. Again, make sure you spell everything correctly. You can use single sign-on if your school is a Google or a Microsoft Office school though. That's pretty useful. So go to your courses. This will help you find your course. Click on your course. This one is AQA GCSE PE. Everything on the specification is there. Scroll down, you will see it. You can start learning, click on a lesson. Start learning takes you to the videos. You can see here this video on cardiovascular values. Start practice is the quizzing. There's no timer on this one. Test yourself, this is more serious. There is a timer, you've got no notes. But you always get feedback. So three things to know about video tutorials. You can make notes next to each video. These appear when you go to practice mode. So make them and then you can save that note. You will notice little flags on the videos to remind you where they are. Number two, all videos are tracked so you and your teacher can see how much you have watched. Okay, you can see here the students watched 11%. Dragging the timer to the end doesn't move it to 100%, so no cheating is allowed. Nice try though. All the video tutorials are course specific. This means you need to know the key terminology, definitions, descriptions, and examples that come up. Right, let's go into more detail on practice mode. Different types of quiz questions will help you practice. You've got drag and drops, fill in the gaps like you can see here. Do try and get that spelling correct though, although we do give you a variation. Single choice, so pick one option. There you go, intensity and go, or multiple choice. Look for the little square boxes. This is multiple choice. Every question, you will get immediate feedback. So you will know where you've gone right, where you've gone wrong. Read it, it's important. And you can use your notes to help you out. Again, read them. If you click on the note, it will take you to the video as well. So find practice mode by going to your course, click on it, click on the lesson, and click start practice. Three things to know about practice mode. We recommend spending at least 15 minutes in practice mode for each lesson before moving to test mode. So you can go through and you can really start to understand the knowledge, to practice it. You wouldn't go and play a match before doing and practicing those skills. So make sure you spend plenty of time in that practice mode. Do make sure you've read that feedback. The whole point of practicing is to learn from those mistakes. If you get them right, great. If you get it wrong, doesn't matter. Read the feedback, learn from it. As it says, read the feedback. This is how you learn. If you're smashing the practice, great work by the way, and you get six questions in a row correct, you'll be prompted to move on to test mode. Give it a go, why not? This does up the ante. It does make it a little bit harder for you though. So test mode, what is test mode? Chris questions under strict conditions. There's a countdown timer, no notes. Your results are reported to you and your teacher so that you can see how well you are getting on. Find your test mode just below practice mode. Go to the lesson and click test yourself. This will be where you find it. Three things to know about test mode. Countdown timer is too quick for you. Go back and spend more time in practice mode. It's really important that you can learn it. If you have extra time in your exam, do talk to your teacher as they can give you more time. Number two, practice mode is immediate, just like practice mode, you get immediate feedback. So do read the feedback. I say this several times, read the feedback, learn from your mistakes, do not make them twice. Number one, if you're finding testing mode too difficult, you may be prompted to go back into practice mode. Do it, remember, practice makes perfect. So if you're struggling, there is no problem with that. Go and practice. Checkpoints, 20 to 30 question tests on specific topics. Countdown timer will go the whole time. It's a bit like an end of unit test. You get no feedback until the end. Find the checkpoints, they're the little yellow circles that say checkpoint one, checkpoint two, checkpoint three. 
Hopefully you get the idea. Three things to know about checkpoints. You can take checkpoints as many times as you like. Each time you take them, they are different. So that's keeping on learning. You can move backwards and forwards through the questions. You can miss a question out and go back for it. You can also change your answer if you need to. Feedback is given after you've clicked submit checkpoint. So they click for submit. Oh, 85%. Yay me. So I can see there and now I can start to look through and go what questions I got wrong. There's one of them. I'm reading the feedback. Here's another. Oh, I got it right. But I'm still going to read that feedback. Data dashboard. How do you know how well you're doing? Check the dashboard. It's got all those statistics. So dashboard at the top, live data, fill in your class. Remember, you can, you'll can you only have one on class. We've got lots. Then you can start to see where you are. Your name will be just there. And you can see it generally green is good. Yellow, OK. Red, you need to do more. Grey, you've not started. Let's look at those percentages. 100% of the video tutorial watched, 10 minutes 44 studying, 75% correct out of the last 12 questions. Woo! Assignments, right then. What are assignments? Tasks or activities that your teacher has set you. Might be done in school or at home. They're the form of video tutorials, testing, checkpoint or exams. It's a bit like homework. You can find them by going in your notifications just at the top and you can scroll down and see all your different check um, all your different assignments they are all beautifully color coded but you can see this watch lesson is red you can see the three videos and then you can click on them and go to it or you can go in your emails here's a copy of my email that i've received you get them days before 40 hours and 24 hours or you can go to assignments click on assignments scroll down scroll down and there's that watch lesson assignment just there or i can see that test yourself oh i've got quite a bit of homework to be doing excellent right three things to know about assignments you can keep a check on your assignment results on that dashboard dashboard then click assignments scroll along and you can see remember green is good yellow okay red not so great gray you've not done it yet oh if number two, if you ever see this pop up, this is an important one. Register my activity and assignment. Make sure you click it. Do not click the one I've just crossed out. Number one, not that you would cheat because you're all great. But if you and your best mate do try and do the assignment together, well, tough. You can't do the assignments together. The questions will be different. Exams, big one here. So we've got our exam simulator. This will only be set by your teacher. There are exam style questions to help you perfect your exam technique. You can do them online or on paper. You will find your exams in the exam section next to assignments. Scroll down, you can have a look. Oh, I've got one practice exam I could be doing. I click on it and then I can see where it says take the exam. And that's where I'm going to take the exam. So this is an online one you can see. I can also get the same way by clicking notifications in the top there. I can find my exam, click on it, and then once it loads up, I can see that practice exam. And again, I can take that exam and click on all those buttons. And then finally, you can get them in your emails as well. You'll get email updates and you will get emails 24 hours and 48 hours before the deadline as well as when it is set. Oh, completing exams, a good one for you. Click take exam, really obvious one there. And then fill in the boxes, start typing your answers. The correct answer will always help. You will see in the top right of the box, it saves automatically where my nice multicolored arrows are pointing. So you do not need to worry if your laptop explodes or your phone goes and melts for whatever reason. It is saved automatically. Click next question to move on. Make sure you answer every single question. You can go back, you can go forward, but do make sure you've answered your questions. Oh, look, I've said that. You can go back if you need, and it saves automatically. You can submit it, but it saves. Oh, practice exam. Completed online, automatically saves every question. No need to submit. You have until the deadline. Oh, return to the exam as many times as you like. You'll be sent a notification when the exam is marked. That is a lot. Assessed exams, again, completed online, automatically saves. You have until the deadline. 
once it starts you have to set time to complete the exam so you have to complete the exam in what 57 minutes for this one principal exams pen and paper like you would normally do marked like a normal exam marks in your exam analysis can be found online and you'll be sent a notification when that is available at your teacher's discretion find your exam feedback by going to notifications and then you scroll down show feedback or view feedback and then when it loads up you can click here mark complete excellent or oh, 80 percent yay so you can also see it as an email so go to your emails and you can view it there as well again oh 80 percent this is very good for the confidence and then you can view it and you can scroll and look as well at your statistics and then finally in the exam section so go to exams next to assignments make sure you scroll down look at past exams this time and you can have a look scroll through all of them until you find the exam you want to look at oh i've done a lot of exams there you go I'm still the same exam i besides i wanted to have this one marked to find out how you did in the exam go to the statistics oh you can go to the question 11 analysis green is good red not so good the marking guidance is on the right hand side you can see the next question by clicking there Ooh, oh did i get maximum marks two out of two yay excellent but only 40 percent. not so great on this one but look at those statistics it shows me where i need to practice recommendation red anything in red watch the video tutorial you obviously don't know it that well go and relearn it no problem with that you don't want to make this mistake in your final exam make detailed notes spend at least 15 minutes in practice oh yellow Rewatch the video again strongly recommend press start learning spend 10 minutes in test yourself just to make sure that you've got the hang of this topic and you know it and then finally green woohoo smashed it you are great but keep it fresh you don't want to forget it spend 10 minutes in test yourself you've got a lot of content to learn remember data dashboard how do you know how you're doing check the dashboard we've seen this before it's exactly the same for the exams that's why click here dashboard click to the exam data go through your class and you will see it again green good yellow uh, red not so great gray you've not started you can see here 11 questions have been answered in this topic and the last question was 100 percent nine on the structure of the skeleton so nine questions last score 50 percent oh six questions answered on the function of the skeleton 25 percent was the last score average score across the topics exam questions is 88 percent and 88 3 83 percent on assessed exams remember assessed exams have the full countdown so you have to do it in one sitting but you can still do it online 65 percent on normals ones and 83 percent on those assessed exams you're starting to get the idea oh bonus features want to change your password decided that you don't want to have your bunny's name is it anymore not a problem click my profile then go to edit information and you can change the password type in whatever you want make sure you read the instructions though not sure how to do something no problem ask we are here to help click on that little question there you can type in a search if you type in the bottom green speech bubbles you can kick you will come through to one of us and we as a PE team can help you out but there are loads of questions that you can type in there and we can help you out as well so what to do first make sure you can log in find your course click start learning click start practice click test yourself all of those have a little play look in the assignment section see if you have anything to do your teacher might have set you a nice fun activity to start with and thank you for watching